military weapons. Have you ever wondered where Turkey's military bases are located or what the country's budget is? Stay tuned to learn about one of the most powerful military forces in the world. The Turkish Armed Forces consist of the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force, also the Gendarmerie and Coast Guard, both of which have law enforcement and military functions, operate as components of the internal security forces in peacetime, and are subordinate to the Ministry of the Interior. The President of Turkey is the military's overall head. There's a lot of significance that comes with Turkey's overseas military bases. They've established several overseas military bases in both the Middle East and Africa in recent years. This enables the Ankara to deploy sizable air, ground, and naval assets to strategically important regions far beyond their own borders, challenging its regional rivals, primarily Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, in several key areas. Turkey also has military forces stationed in several countries beyond its own borders, having troops in neighboring Iraq and Syria, as well as the Persian Gulf, the Red Sea, and the Horn of Africa. In most of the countries where it currently stations forces, Ankara has done so under agreements with host governments. About its budget, Turkey's 2018 military spending would increase to $19 billion, being a 24% rise from its previous year. The budget increase comes as it's expanded its military operations against the U.S.-backed Kurdish forces in Syria. Turkey's planned purchase of Russian S-400 air defense missiles is another issue that soured relations between Ankara and Washington, the largest military spender in the world. The military of Turkey is primarily composed of conscripts, a key reason it has the second largest military force in NATO. Turkish armed forces are greater than those of France and Britain combined with 355,000 active personnel and 380,000 in reserve. It also features a robust air force with American fighters and is actually the second largest standing force in NATO after the United States and the eighth biggest number of active troops in the world. At age 20, all men are required to serve in the military for 12 months, and all men up to age 41 may be called upon to serve in emergency situations. Some exceptions are made for those who are pursuing degrees and university graduates can elect to serve either as a reserve officer for 12 months or a private for six months. Women are allowed only to become officers, choosing it as a career, enrolling in military school, and not as a conscript.
Most of the equipment and weaponry systems used by the Turkish armed forces are of U.S. origin. Today, other main weapon suppliers of Turkey include Germany, Israel, England, France, and Russia. Of its air power, it has a total aircraft strength of 1,067, which features 207 fighters, 207 attack, 87 transports, a total helicopter strength of 492, which also holds 94 attack helicopters. About its land strength, it has 3,200 combat tanks, featuring 9,500 armored fighting vehicles, 1,120 self-propelled artillery, 1,272 towed artillery, and 350 rocket projectors. Of its naval strength, it has 194 total assets. That includes 16 frigates, 10 corvettes, submarine count of 12, 34 patrol vessels, and 11 mine warfare vessels. The last major battle of the Turkish army would be in the early 1920s under the command of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk during the Turkish Independence War after World War I. Between 1920 and 23, the army had to fight against Russian and Armenian militaries on the Eastern Front, battling the Italian, French, and British on the Southern Front, and the Greek military on the Western Front. The Gallipoli War was one of the most dramatic and heroic amongst all. During World War II, Turkey managed to stay neutral, and thus the army did not participate in any conflicts until the Korean War. It participated in this war with an infantry brigade to fight solely for humanitarian purposes and for the ideals of the UN. After the Korean War, Turkey has taken part in many peace support operations along with NATO for the regional and global peace, both military and unmilitary operations. Thanks for watching this video. We'd appreciate it if you'd leave a comment about what you thought about it below, and also subscribe, turning on your notifications to get more videos like this in the future.